Oluwali Osaze Uzi, INEC Director of Publicity and Voter Education, joins us in the studio to shed more light on the lessons learned. Thank you very much for coming on the news, sir. Thank you for having me. What's your general assessment of the 2019 elections? Are you asking me as a person or yes. in a as a country? Yes, yeah, and you're, you're in your capacity so, as, as the voice, you've been in the spotlight all this while. So yes. just take us through a bit uh, your experiences through the period. Well, it was a, a, a very challenging uh, time and um, good enough we have been practicing uh, democracy and elections for the last 20 years. Um, but never we had as many contestants, candidates in the elections or number of political parties. It was an unprecedented, unprecedented uh, number of uh, people participating in elections. And equally, we had a lot more staff uh, deployed to the field, a lot more observers. In fact, the numbers were unprecedented. So um, it was challenging in that regard. Um, the unfortunate uh, incidents that led to the shedding is big lessons learned from that. And then, but then again, when we go to the elections itself, notwithstanding, uh, the impressions being created out there. I think it was a one of the better conducted elections, notwithstanding some of those challenges which we acknowledge, one of the better con conducted elections in the country. What are some of these challenges and what plans do you have? What ways are you hoping to tackle some of them going forward? Well, there are so many, but I guess we'll have to uh, segment them. Uh, there, there are challenges about logistics, for example, which we will have to sit down and review. There are administrative challenges, which the Commission itself does not need any enabling law to tackle. So all those administrative challenges, regardless of the nature, as long as administrative, within the purview of the Commission, INEC will tackle them and see how what it can do to improve on them. But there are others that are more structural. There are others that are required legislative intervention. So we have uh, assured that we will engage with the National Assembly as a lawmaking body, we'll engage with the executive on the need for uh, electoral reform, for a reform of the legal framework that will make it much more suitable for purpose. Um, then there are other things that need other stakeholder intervention. Security, for example, it's outside of the purview of INEC, it's within the constitutional purview of other agencies. We'll have to, already we've had a meeting, a uh, review meeting with the uh, uh, security operators that are involved in elections under the auspices of the Interagency Consultative Committee on Election Security. There's a joint committee, not a legal committee, but a committee set up by INEC that has the NSA at the national level and uh, the chairman of INEC as co-chairs, and that goes on to state level and local government level. So that's the work of that committee has, to be, has been reviewed or has been reviewed as well. And uh, let us see what we can do about the professionalism, about the role of uh, security agencies. Why were there not so many, uh, so much security present in some areas and why did it seem overbearing in other areas and things, deployments and issues such as that. They have uh, aggregate, uh, uh, interrogated some of those things and we're still going forward, we still have to do that and see how we can fine tune that agency, that committee to be more efficient in, the, in, in its work. So those that are administrative in nature, as I said, the Commission itself will have to look at those and it's looking in was doing a lot of introspection, doing a lot of planning and see how can we as quickly as possible test some of these uh, new initiatives in Bayelsa and Kogi and subsequent uh, elections in Nigeria. Uh, you alluded to the fact that this is one of the um, generally adjudged uh, better elections in Nigeria when you uh, talked about it earlier. Uh, but a uh, senior advocate of Nigeria, Femi Falana, is uh, proposing that all elections should be modeled after the June 12 election um, that uh, saw the emergence of MK or Abiola, which is, uh, has just been um, acknowledged as Nigeria's new democracy day. What is your reaction to that? Well, I have to understand in what context he uh, said that. Don't forget that um, the 1993 elections was between two parties and two candidates. The last presidential election was among 73 candidates, and in our eyes, in the eyes of the law, with equal standing. So already the dynamics are different. It was conducted by a military regime that may or may not have had an interest in the outcome of the uh, 
uh, election. We're conducting this under a civilian regime, under the 1999 constitution that had was conducted under a decree. So there are differences, and uh, I don't know, so I have to know the context in which uh, Femi yes, Fernandez Choir uh, spoke. Okay, uh, let's, let's move away from that and look at the comments by the commission's chairman. Uh, he says that um, the commission relied heavily uh, on the universities for some of the ad hoc staff and, you know, for some of the, uh, that's basically used the staff.